guys, it's Mike McElroy with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com. This particular episode, we're going to be covering a bicep movement in a seated position with the barbell. Now, you probably have seen a lot of different movements like this in the past. Joe Weider was one of the first ones to go over this movement way back in the day before people even really understood how the biomechanics of this works, but Joe actually did. It's a seated bicep curl. So I'm going to explain the benefits, but first I'm going to do the movement so you can see how it's done, talk to you about the technique involved, and then talk to you about why it's so important at targeting the biceps muscle. All right, so here we go. Seated barbell bicep curl. And relax. Now let's talk about the technique and why this is such a beneficial movement for you to include in your biceps routine. All right guys, so now we just did a seated barbell biceps curl. You might ask why we're in the seated position and why we don't extend all the way down. The biceps muscle, again, is made up of two different heads. You have the long head and you have the shorter head. There are assisting muscle groups in the arm as you do the bicep curl. You have the brachialis, you have the brachioradialis. The first part of a bicep curl, when you're in the full extended position, you're not actually emphasizing the bicep's head primarily. Again, the brachialis and the brachioradialis are involved. And as you curl upward, your bicep becomes more activated, which means you can actually lift heavier weight. It's the reason why a lot of people do partial rep training or 21s where they come halfway down. It's the reason why I actually say that you should start using bands because resistance gets heavier as you do it. Now the barbell bicep curl, because you are in the seated position, your arm is already resting at the state at which it is stronger in that point of range of motion. So traditionally when you do this exercise, try it for a little bit heavier weight than you would with a normal barbell biceps curl. The reason why is because you are actually stronger because you're not going into a weaker part of that muscle group's range of motion. So as I come up here, the barbell is just going to be placed on my lap here. And as I curl upward, I'm going to curl all the way up and then right back down. I can even rest it, re-grip, if I'm going for heavier weight. Come up and go right back down. Now again, you're targeting the bicep and emphasizing it more within this range of motion because of the angle at which the arm is in. So I highly recommend doing seated bicep curls and incorporate it into your resistance training program. To download a workout program utilizing this exercise, log in, sign up, and click the workout tab up at the top. Until next time, it's Mike McAuley with Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com. Take care, guys. Thank <laughs> you.